which is very masculine and industrial, totally my aesthetic. That's actually a joke, that's not my aesthetic at all, but it works for this. One huge thing that I hate about this kitchen is this eyesore, oh, why would they do that? It looks like somebody punched out the cabinet wall and all that's left is a gaping hole. But I do have a dishwasher, which I have learned that I'm very lucky to have because it's not standard in New York. I had one at my last apartment and, you know, just standard fridge. You wanna see what's inside? We can look. It's pretty stocked. I just had a little party at my apartment, so got a lot of leftovers. It's me, right? We've got bottles on bottles of alcohol, obviously. I forgot to mention, in the hallway, we have coat racks, but we also have this clothing rack, which has been actually really nice for when people come over. They love just going straight here, hanging up their stuff, and it feels very grown up to have that area. Over here, we have <laughs> the famous Ikea mirror, and you guys have seen it a million times, and it came with me to this apartment because I absolutely love it. But I am manifesting my dream mirror. It's either that huge anthropology one or the Our House one that's double this side. You know what's behind the Ikea mirror though? Is the brick walls. And we all know Sam is a hoe for some brick walls. This is not the only brick we have in this apartment. Oh, just you wait. Can we talk about this bar stool situation? They're not bar stools, they're counter stools because the difference between counter and bar is about 10 inches. So you wanna know the difference, people. <laughs> These are from Target and assembling them was kind of dangerous, first of all, because I sat on one and it broke and I thought I needed to go on a diet, but these are just poorly made. So I had to reorder them, return the broken one, and then have someone else assemble them, which that's my personal brand. So we're moving into the living area. You guys, I have so much space for activities. Everything that I got in this living room was either from my old apartment or from Facebook Marketplace. And I'm really proud of that because reduce, reuse, recycle, and save some money, baby. You know, I love me some shelves. Gotta use the vertical space in the apartment. Mounted my TV as I did at my last apartment. We talked about this egg chair. I had big plans to mount, to, to mount this thing from the ceiling, to hang it. Have this little hammock situation going. And then my shelves fell. And it was like all of my dreams fell with it because we are not going to hang no chair from no ceiling if I can't even hang some wall shelves. The only thing that I did buy new was this rug just from a place called Eily Home. And, okay, my pride and joy, you guys. This is a used Ikea couch. Uh-huh. From Facebook Marketplace, what I did was I purchased custom covers from Comfort Works. They are an Australian brand and they are all about the upcycle life. What you can do is take 
your old couch and give it new life by ordering some custom covers. Once these covers came, it really transformed my entire apartment. So I'm really happy that it's here. That's why the couch is pretty much the center of the room. And if you follow me on Instagram, you know I had some trouble placing this couch. It was gonna go against this wall, it was gonna go against that wall, but I kind of like the division it creates between the living room and the kitchen, you know? Like, these are separate areas now. We, we like the couch. We like the couch like this. And if you don't like the couch, you're gonna like the couch because it's not moving, you guys. So now, moving into the bedroom area where literally no magic happens. You know, I love my plants and I thought that they could create some extra division. I'm all about division, but openness. <laughs> it's a pretty open concept, this apartment is, but these little things, these little elements create more sectioned off space, which I was trying to do while still maintaining that airy feeling that I always aim for. And in my bedroom, I basically kept all of the exact same furniture that I had at my Chinatown apartment. I did get these shelves. <laughs> I think every room in this apartment has a little bit of drama attached. I hung these shelves initially on my own and they would have been fine had it not been for, hey, the second set of brick walls. So behind this dummy drywall, it's brick behind there and I didn't have a drill bit that would drill into brick. So they fell, they fell. They fell and it was traumatic. It was just as traumatic as that time it happened to me in the Chinatown apartment. This actually, I made my dad ship from California. It was at my old apartment in LA and it was just sitting in my parents' storage. So I thought, why not hang it up here and give it a second life? I did not want to deal with any of the electrical. So I literally just plopped it on top of the existing light that was already there. And if you don't look too closely, it looks fine, so just don't look too closely. Moving on into the closet space. I think I pretty much either tripled or quadrupled my closet. Because if you remember in Chinatown, I had a closet that was about this big, and now I have a closet, two closets that are about this big. So, double and it's gonna be squeaky. Double. Um, the other side looks pretty much the same, so I'm not gonna, I'll spare you guys the squeakiness. We're moving in to my bathroom where some magic happens. As you can see, it's all marble from top to bottom, all of the walls. It's wonderful. It creates a lovely steam room if you let the shower go. Um, and I actually have a bathtub now, you guys. It's lovely. It's so nice taking baths. The only thing I will say is that the shower head is so high up that it feels, it feels like it's high up. So I sometimes stand on the rim of the bathroom. Uh, and yeah, I actually really want to switch this light fixture out. I'm just saving up for the one that I want. So that'll be another update once I get it. I think that was it, you guys. If you have any other questions about anything in my apartment specifically, let me know in the comments down below. Tell me what your favorite part was. You know, I'm a hoe for these bricks. I'm gonna let you out. Bye. <laughs>